What's a funny story about you learning to drive? When I was learning how to drive, and I was driving with my learner's permit, getting ready to get my license, you know, you have to do like a, a maximum amount of hours with, with a driver, with a driving instructor. And I went uh, to go do my like three hours in the car, and I sat in the car, and I was driving, and I had a really bad cold at the time, and we were going through an intersection, and I sneezed. And I didn't want to take my hands off the wheel because I didn't want him to be like, no, like you can't do that. And I couldn't pull over and snot just went everywhere. And I was like, what do I do? And I was like, I'm so sorry. And he didn't speak very well English. So he was like, uh, and he didn't know what to do either. It was a bad scene. So we had to pull over. I like had to take off like the jacket I had around my waist and like, don't, uh, don't sneeze on the road, kids. Don't sneeze and drive. It's on the road. My dad taught me how to drive. To get home, I had to get on a road that wasn't even that, it was like 40 mile per hour, like county road. The car coming at me, just, I don't know, I was nervous, I didn't. I wasn't good at driving yet, and I just, it looked like it was coming at me so fast. And I literally pulled the car over. I was like, he was just too fast, I can't do it, he's too fast. My dad was like, it's 40 miles per hour, you're fine. I was like, no, I can't. I obviously have since got over that. You sit in the back seat of your parents' car when they're driving your whole life, you're like, whatever, it's just driving. You get behind the wheel of that thing, it's like, oh my God. Like, it's a machine that can go 180 miles per hour. That's kind of scary. I'm actually in the process of like, learning to drive right now. Yeah, and I was driving on the freeway for the first time last night, and that was really awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, it's really, I don't know, driving in LA can be hectic, but I find it's kind of therapeutic. I liked it, so yeah, and I have a really cool instructor too. We were practicing driving with my mom, and we pulled into my friend's driveway because we drove to his house, and like, we were switching roles, and I was switching to like the passenger. As I was getting out, I opened the door, and then like, I pushed it this way to close it, and the corner, like nicked my eyebrow so I have this scar it was like a deep cut it was so bad and I was just like bleeding everywhere and we're at my friend's house he's not even home I'm like what do I do what do we do my Fiat 500L is actually featured in this awesome movie it's at a car dealership so everything is supposed to be great and they put a big sticker on my car that said fresh and clean or extra clean or something like that. And my car was filthy. I mean, that on purpose? No, my car's always filthy. I cannot keep my car clean. And they put a big, and then they asked me to clean it. I had um, like my learner's permit before I had my driver's license, like everybody does. And so I used to, my car, I got, but I got my car when I got my learner's permit, just because it was my dad's hand-me-down car. And so I used to not be able to drive it, but I would just pull it out of the, the parking space, and pull it back in over and over and over and over again. And so I'm the best parallel parker in the world, but the worst just regular driver. When I was getting my driver's license and I was taking the test, it was awful. I was turning left. This lady was silent. She said nothing to me besides at the end when she said you passed barely but before that she goes I was turning left and there was pedestrians walking left as well and I pulled into the middle of the road I didn't want to know what to do and I just went Psh, Psh, pedestrians and she just goes <laughs> which was the checkbox of she has a sense of humor <laughs> I wish there was a box I could check for her not having a sense of humor. I, I failed my permit test uh, three times, so that's awkward. And then I failed my driver's test three times, so it took me a long time to drive. It's a really long story, but uh, I am a very safe driver, and I've never been pulled over. I'm starting to learn to drive. I haven't taken any classes yet, but I took uh, my mom's van. <laughs> around our neighborhood. <laughs> my dad was sitting in the in the passenger seat. We were driving around and I, we have kind of like a cul-de-sac and everything and I, I was driving around but I was going really fast and I didn't realize I was going so fast. I was like, no, 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 I got it all under control. Meanwhile, he's holding on for dear life. What is your dream car? Um, a Jeep Wrangler, which I actually bought myself recently, so. Nice. Lamborghini. BMW. I'm a Jeep girl. I've loved Jeeps ever since I can remember. My first car was a Jeep. It was a Jeep Patriot. I don't know, like I really hope to have uh, like a Wrangler at some point, like a four-door Wrangler. I'm still figuring it out. I would really like a Jeep though. A Tesla. Silver or black? I love Range Rovers, like all black, interior, exterior, Range Rovers are gorgeous. I have a Prius right now, so maybe like another, a step up from that, but still like a hybrid, like an energy efficient car. Uh, my dream car is a Maserati Grand Cabrio Sport, but they only make those in Europe. <laughs> we'll import one. Well, I'm going to get one imported. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, Audi R8.